Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah and today we're going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form and I have not opened it. It has not been opened, I promise. All I did was cut off that tape. So, If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave me some nice comments, hit subscribe, ring that bell, see more of my goofy face. And yeah, this look I used using the Ciate London The Editor Palette New England, which I received in my BoxyCharm Premium for August. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Yay, this one's got its little slip. There was a uh, whole argument with the other one, but we're not gonna go through it. Okay, I saw something and I'm like kind of annoyed. Oh, never mind. Okay, so this is the Spa Glamping Sunbathe Yoga Slumber box so glamping yep that is the name okay first off I see some morphe brushes I got this I've never had morphe brushes I know all the stuff going on with morphe but I'm excited I've never had their brushes so I'm excited to play with them for so many good things all right so they're all eyeshadow brushes <laughs> probably would have helped me with my last video seeing as Half my brushes were wet. I need to pick those up because those all just spilled all over. All right. Okay. All right. So you've got your more smudgy brush that is dense but fluffy. Your standard big fluffy brush. That one is soft. I like that. Got some hairs frying out though on the side already. Well, as you know, that's a great sign. Flat brush. Don't really use those, but that is actually one of the flattest flat brushes I've had in a while. Whew, I'm excited to maybe try that out. Then I have an angle brush. Okay. Hmm. None of these have anything else written on them except for Morphe. I thought they always had their different names. Let's see. Um, oval shadow brush, pro firm blending crease brush, tapered mini blender brush, and angled liner brush. Okay, let's give this a read. Morphe, I got this brush set. Oh, these babes? Just for natural and synthetic eye brushes you need to pull off all the gorgeous looks. Want to give them a sweep? Collection includes blah blah blah, which I already read to you. And it retails for $12. Grabbing my little notepad. Do I have the pencil? Of course I don't. The pencil disappeared. How rude of it. How rude. Oh, well, I guess we'll grab that later. All right, next up I see Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have not tried this, so I'm excited. I got the shade Cloud. Okay, oh, that is big. I remember with the foundation, I had to use cloud for my shade. Um, yeah. Conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch with this super perfecting natural finish concealer makeup hybrid. Fully loaded pigments pro provide maximum coverage with an undetectable finish for a look so flawless. They'll think you were born this way. And it retails for $29. All right heard about you. I've never used you or swatched you. Right, how's this shade gonna look? Ooh, that. That is doable. All right. I will definitely have to do a video where I test out that. All right. Woohoo. It is thick and it blended away perfectly and it left some coverage on my hand. Sweet. All right. What are you? Thank me later. Oh, it's by Elizabeth Mott. It is an eyeshadow primer. Okay. Don't think I currently have one, so that'll be nice. Let's read about it. This cruelty-free primer enhances your eyeshadow and protects your makeup all day. Apply in the morning and go all night long without worrying. Dries quickly and transparently, prepping your eyelids for a smooth and even application of your shadow. And this retails for $20. All right, it is a tube, squeezy tube. 
All right. All right, comes out looking a little pink. Yep, 100% dry, dry swa. Transparent, it's got quite a silicone-y feel. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I will definitely have to give that a try. Next I see, this is what caught me at first. I was like, Essentials caught a glimpse of the, glimpse of the, the ESS in the, the VI. And I was like, please not the normal Essentials palette. I have that already, but it's not. It's the Essentials volume two. So yeah, 10, eye, 10 color eyeshadow palette. And press pigments. Okay, can we please open you? All right, the, I'll read while I try to open this. These 10 eyeshadow pans of Pure Bliss provide all the everyday hues you, you'll need to create your go-to soft glam as well as vivid pops of color to liven up your look. And it retails for $36. And uh, there we go. That's really hard. Okay. Da, da, da. Ooh, okay, definitely different than the other one. All right. I'll definitely have to do a video with this very, very soon. It's likely going to have a purple. It's me. All right. I will grab a couple of these. I'm going to grab Wild Orchid, Blue Violet, and Blue Sky on here. Okay, come on. Yeah, there is four mattes and six shimmeries. Shimmery colors. Okay. Not as pigmented as I expected, but I'll definitely have to give this a try. I'm really excited. I love the quality of the Essentials Volume 1 palette. So, yeah, I did a lot of looks with that. You know, pretty sure that was before I did more YouTube stuff, but whatever. All right, next I see the Tristique uh, Matte for Every Mood Mini Matte Lip Crayon Set. So, six of them. Okay, that's awesome. So, Nantucket Nude, Florence Fig, Barcelona Bright Berry, Chili Red, Belize Bordeaux, and Tuscan Wine. I am kind of proud of how I read that so perfectly. Oh my gosh, I like it. This looks like it's an agile crayon pack, especially with back to school happening soon. Well, you know, attempting. Going school supply shopping starting up here soon. We'll go with that. All right, let's read about that. Also, the Thank Me Later primer was 20. I don't remember if I said that, but this is, where are you? Okay. A matte for every mood mini matte lip crayon set. A, every shade of the mini matte lip crayons to match every one of your moods. Enjoy velvety, buildable color, and a weightless matte finish that lasts all day. These ultra soft matte lip crayons come in a petite size, make it perfect for on the go, and it retails for $58 for all of those. All right, so that's... Not $10 each, but close. A little more than $9. Sorry, I was listening. I thought I heard the Firebird coming back. Like, he's home? But, all right. I'm going to go take this off, swatch all these, and pick a different one to put on top. Stump all the jellies out. This one is chili red. Okay, so that is like a bright, bright fire engine red. Then I have Nantucket nude. Um, Barcelona night berry or bright berry, my bad. Uh, yeah, that 
this pink, bright pink. Florence Fig. Ooh, that's probably gonna be the winner. Um, Belize Bordeaux. Okay. And Tuscan Wine. All right, so there are those. I'm going to quick put Florence Fig on. Sorry about that. All right, so Florence Fig. How much product did they have? Okay, not too bad. All right, that meshes perfectly with the look I did. Features to have bumping in here. So the total of this box was $155. You pay a price that varies between about $23 and $25 for the standard box. It all depends on your subscription that you have picked. Come on, those do not like to go on. What do I think of this box? I'm excited, especially with the concealer and the eyeshadow palette and the lippies. I, yeah, I will get a good bit of use out of those. I will 100% be doing a video on the concealer separately and, well, eyeshadow. We know me, I do a video on every eyeshadow palette at this point. So I will leave all the pricing details down in the description box along with the box weight everything. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.